maintaining a healthy body is like baking the perfect cake. We need the right proportion of ingredients to ensure the cake is delicious and tasty. So what is the balanced diet that our body needs? There are seven major food groups, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins, fiber, and water. Do you know what types of food we get these different groups from? Pause the video and have a think. There are just a few options. Let's have a look at the different roles these groups play in maintaining a healthy body. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the body's main source of energy and also give us calcium and B vitamins. They should make up the largest proportion of our diet and whole grain versions are particularly good because they also provide fiber. Our body needs energy to survive and if we don't eat carbs, then our body will break down protein instead, which can mean taking protein from our muscles to provide the energy instead. So eat carbs to save your muscles. Protein. Proteins are strong, powerful little molecules. Proteins control every single function of our cells and organs and are the building blocks of life. They provide us with the means to grow and repair. Proteins are made from smaller units called amino acids, of which there are 22 different ones. Our body can't make nine of these amino acids, and so we have to take these nine in through our diet. This is the important part. Proteins from animal-based proteins have a large range of these nine amino acids in. They are more complete protein sources. Whereas plant-based products, although they can be high in protein, they often don't have a large range of different types of amino acids from one source, and so we need to combine a few different protein sources to get a complete profile, something to be aware of. Fats. Everyone seems to be a little scared of them, but actually they're extremely important for a healthy, balanced diet. We need fats for growth, development, and to just function. We store them for use as energy at later dates. They're used in cell functions and must be taken in through the diet as our body can't make them. They insulate our nerve cells, they're in our cell membranes, they transport vitamins, and they're found in steroid hormones. Fats are essential for a healthy, balanced diet. So just remember, fats don't make you fat, eating too many calories does. Vitamins. There's a whole variety of different vitamins. So let's keep it general. Vitamins are necessary for growth and for our cells to function normally. We cannot make them, so we must take them in through our diet. We only need them in tiny amounts, and provided you eat a varied diet, balanced in proteins, carbohydrates, fats, fruit and veg, you almost definitely have them in ample amounts. If we're deficient in any vitamins, then it negatively affects our health, so make sure you eat a varied and balanced diet. Minerals. Minerals are essential. They're important for us to build strong bones and teeth blood, skin, hair, etc. They're involved in nerve function, muscles, and for metabolic processes. To be healthy, to grow and repair, we need minerals. Just like vitamins, if you eat a varied and balanced diet, then chances are you're taking in the minerals that you need. Although, often children, pregnant and breastfeeding mothers, and older people need to adjust their intake of certain minerals. Fiber, roughage, call it what you like. This indigestible carbohydrate is very important for our intestines. They balance out the fat and carbohydrate absorption so that we don't have sudden energy surges. They regulate bowel movements and help to speed up the removal of waste and toxins. Fiber equals a happy gut. Although it does come with one little warning. If you're eating fibrous food, you must also drink lots of water because fiber can dehydrate you, which leads us perfectly onto the importance of water. The fact that we're about two-thirds water goes to show just how important the liquid of life is. Water keeps our blood flowing, it maintains the health and strength of all of our cells, it eliminates waste products from metabolism, we use it to regulate our body temperature by sweating, and the list continues. About 20% of our water intakes comes from our food, and then we need to make sure we're drinking lots. In fact, most headaches are actually caused because we're dehydrated, so get that glass of water and start drinking. So there we have the main food groups. The simple thing to remember is to have a varied diet and that you wash down with lots of water. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.